January this year, and a Saudi prince walks into the lift of a London hotel, followed by his servant. And then this. The prince apparently attacks the other man, launching a series of punches. He then leaves, only to return seconds later to resume the assault. These pictures were shown at the Old Bailey today as Prince Saud Abdelaziz Nasir Al Saud stood trial for murder. The court was told that three weeks later, the prince carried out a second attack in the lift of the landmark hotel. Within hours, his aide was found dead in the room they shared. Bandar Abdelaziz had suffered internal bleeding to the brain and severe neck injuries. His body was covered in bruises. The prince claimed the two men were staying here as friends, but the court was told they were, in fact, neither friends nor equals. According to the prosecution, there was a sinister aspect to the prince's treatment of Bandar. And the abuse wasn't confined to physical violence. There was a sexual element as well. Staff at the hotel said the prince and his aide appeared to be in a gay relationship, but they rarely spoke to each other, and Bandar always walked a couple of steps behind his employer. In the dock, the prince listened as the court was told he denied being homosexual, not because of his cultural background or embarrassment, but because he wanted to conceal what happened to his aide at the hotel. The jury was told the prince now admits killing Bandar Abdelaziz, but denies murder. John Brain, BBC News, Central London.